Today, the flowers and scarves were moved onto the pitch at East End Park as the fans stood on the terraces to pay their last respects. Norrie McCarthy was described as Mr Dunfermline, as well known off the pitch as he was on it. McCarthy's ex-wife and daughter sat in the stand, as did his former girlfriend, seven months pregnant with his child. The service was led by Dunfermline Minister Alex Mitchell. Tributes were paid by other members of the club. Bert Payton, Dunfermline's manager and a close personal friend of McCarthy's, was clearly overcome. His tribute was read on his behalf. What Norrie wanted most of all was to see his beloved cars in the Premier League. We're going to do our best to make this happen as a fitting tribute to a great servant, an inspirational captain, and above all, a great guy. The fans tribute the best known song of the terraces. After the service, those gathered were allowed onto the pitch to walk round the memorial that's been left and collect their own thoughts. Uh, great loss. Really is a great loss. I remember him just as the kind of guy that makes clubs like this. A generation of fans. Some of the tributes were laid out to shape the number on the skipper's jersey. He'd led the team through good and bad times, and a manager such as Jim Leishman, many other clubs were represented today by players who counted Norrie McCarthy a friend as well as an opponent. The grief was felt most keenly by members of his family, his 11-year-old daughter and 7-year-old son, but everyone seemed moved by the sadness of his death. He loved this town, and he loved his football club. He would have given everything to see Dunfermline back at the top of the Scottish football. Sadly, he will not be able to fulfill that ambition, but the spirit which he had will live with us for a very long time to come. Dunfermline manager Bert Payton had prepared his own tribute, but the emotion was too great. I'll read it on behalf of Bert. What Norrie wanted most of all was to see his beloved pars in the Premier League. We're going to do our best to make this happen as a fitting tribute to a great guy. The memorial service was followed by a private funeral in Edinburgh after a last goodbye from Tom Kerr of the Supporters Club. Norrie was always our hero, now he is a legend. Goodbye, big man, from all Dunfermline supporters. <laughs>